Long before it appeared on postcards or in wedding photos, the iconic Red Mill in Clinton became part of the community starting in the early 1800s. It's such an integral piece of the heritage of Hunterdon County in New Jersey and so many people feel such a so, you know, it pulls at your heartstrings if you're from here. Around 1810, the oldest section of the Red Mill was built to process wool. It failed due to imports of uh, cloth materials. So I would say history is uh, relevant to today's world because uh, that, that's why the business failed. And it was served as a grist mill under many owners for many different years and was really a point of commerce for Hunterdon County for a long time. It eventually became a graphite mill. It failed as a graphite mill more from public outrage because at one time it was called the Black Mill. Locals complained about the black dust, so eventually the owner, Chester Thompson, began grinding talc. In 1928, Thompson sold the mill to the Clinton Water Supply Company. Decades later, five local men determined to honor a piece of history, purchased the Red Mill, restored it, and opened the property as a museum. There are 12 buildings on site including this screen house where stone from the on-site quarry was crushed and sorted. Today, there is still a blacksmith on the job. The center of activity, the hottest show in town. The blacksmith was really the, the, the core of, of the operation because if something broke, that would be the first person they would go to to either make the part or repair it. I think for most visitors who come in here, there's the, the sort of sensory aspect. First of all, there's the smell, right? It smells wonderful. Um, it's kind of cold and dark in here, so it plays with your eyes. Um, if you're in here long enough, you can kind of taste it, but then you hear the anvil ring, right? And uh, you get to watch metal transform from just a piece of lump into something interesting. Yeah, I'd love people to think of the impact that it had in New Jersey and what the importance of the economy and what that economy did for the society for Clinton, Hunter and County, and really through the state of New Jersey. This represents what was the core and the foundation of local communities throughout the entire state. And it really is still today the foundation of the community. It's a place where people can come and learn. They can come and share in the community and share in some camaraderie also. And still very much serves as a foundation of the economy in a much different way in tourism and historic uh, aspects. About 20,000 people visit the Red Mill Museum Village each year, including thousands of school kids. With 10 acres, there is plenty to explore, including a dozen buildings. And most of those buildings are original to the property. Staffers hope visitors leave the Red Mill Museum Village with this message. History is still alive and that this place isn't static in the past. It's part of who we are now and that there's pieces of it that we can carry on with us for future generations, too. In Clinton, I'm Lauren Wonko and JTV News.